I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, they just want it free. Be competitive with yourself. Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Sean for another quick and cool pickup. So if you saw, I, I don't know which order I'm putting these videos out, but uh, I did some firearm pickups, right? These two particular pickups are Glocks. One is a Glock 43X. One is a Glock 45 um gen 5 couldn't get the mos versions because it just didn't have it at those local type of uh, corporate style stores at least not that i'm aware of right so while i'm waiting on a glock 19 i'm also looking at a uh, hellcat pro i'm looking at a hk and the fn 509 tactical is a definite pickup i don't know why i, I try to correct myself in my last video i was talking about the back straps and i couldn't remember the name for it for some reason uh when i went back to return one of my laser sights for the glock uh 45 one of the sights when i was making adjustments it, it, it was warped it wouldn't allow me to adjust it for left and right so long story short is they didn't have it so they're sending it to me so i'll just show you what it looks like all the way attached when it comes in and i'll kind of walk you through because now i know how to exactly attach it the correct way etc um and then you can make the fine adjustments because the way i showed it in that video when i unboxed it is that um it was kind of just hanging on there it wasn't fully uh attached you know what i mean so uh anyway as i was there I happen to see this. I thought this was kind of cool because I saw this prior, like online. It's like Amazon. I think I've seen it even cheaper. It only costs like a hundred dollars, and I think I've seen it as low as maybe seventy-five at some points. Pick this up. I think this is kind of cool, man. This is supposed to replicate pretty much the size and the weight for the most part. This is just a CO two air gun. Now, I, I, it ain't like I got a place to really shoot an air gun or anything like that. But for me, it's more of like like a collector's thing i like it and uh the weight of it and stuff like that gives you an idea of the handle because it's like a huge rambo knife let me see i'm gonna see if i can cut this open i don't know if this is sharp or just big I'm dumb for no reason actually it's cutting a little bit hold up actually slices real good there you go Like 19. So basically, it is a. I don't even know what this means because I don't shoot air guns, but it is a 410 FPS, 12 G CO2, takes steel BBs, uh, 15 round, drop free mag, metal slide, and a weaver, it says. Uh, 0.177 cal. Yeah. It's officially licensed product of Glock. Which is pretty dope and as far as i know i think it's supposed to again replicate the actual size now from what i know what i know of glocks this these little finger grooves or whatever here i believe that's like a i don't know if that's gen 3 or gen 4 or something like that i just know on the gen 5 like mine they got rid of it um i didn't know i guess you can't can you slide this let me see this is how you load. Let me see. My other camera's dead, so let me see. Hold up. That's what it looks like on the bottom. You got to be careful, man, because, you know, back in the day when they had uh, BB guns and stuff, they had that orange tip on it or whatever. Now these ain't orange, man. This is showing you could easily, someone could easily think, especially from a distance, that this is a... A regular Glock or a regular firearm. Um, there's little signs that you can tell, but on a like really quickly, it'd be hard to tell that this is. It'd be really hard to tell that this is not a um actual Glock. You can't slide this, so I'm gonna kind of. I thought they said this slides, or maybe it was just saying that this was a metal steel slide. Yeah, none of that. I guess it wouldn't make sense for it to slide. So my hands are small to medium. It's more on a medium side. But if you can see, my palm is kind of like a little bit past the bottom. But honestly, they hit my face with the... Honestly, this still feels comfortable. It still feels comfortable. And it does look pretty balanced in, in, as far as like size-wise. Let me show you what my um, Glock 45 looks like. If you haven't seen it from... My other video again i am not no professional 
gun toting, uh, you know, collecting whatever. But let me just show you real quick. Oh, and I picked this up. If you ever watched one of my my videos for the Tahoe, this thing broke, man. So I picked up this version right here, and it looks like this. It checks your tire pressure also. It is for GM. But uh, I haven't tech checked it yet, but it feels lightweight and it, it seems pretty good. So let me just show you this real quick to compare. So even though this is a pellet gun, BB gun, whatever you want to call it, um, not this one, but this one right here. I just want to compare like how it feels compared to the legitimate firearm. So if you can see my hands, you see how it kind of extends a little bit past my hand. It's barely, and you have to remember I have medium hands. I don't have medium, I don't have small. It's like a little bit, um, a little bit more. Let me just show you from this angle so you can see how my hands, I feel weird holding a gun like this, but I'm trying to show you how it looks from the bottom. So you can see this goes a little bit below. Um, this feels good too. Uh, as far as comparing this to... A real firearm is very similar. Um, one thing they added on the Gen 5 is that... I don't want to scratch my stuff. If you look on this pellet gun or whatever, the BB gun, pellet gun, this is like a smooth slide right here in the front. Again, look at the front of this. Well, you can't really see because it's so dark. There you go. Hold up. It's like a, it's a larger opening right here, so you wouldn't think... You might not think this is a BB gun at all from a distance. It's really cool, um, but be careful. Don't be stupid about it. Get yourself caught up. Um, this one right here, if you see, it has this. Let me show. Let me hold it upside down. If you see right here, it has these uh, these little grooves. It has it in the front and the back. This is the Gen Five. As you can see, this is there's no slots. Apparently, people didn't like that. Um, I don't know. What do y'all like? Do y'all like? I keep I keep flipping this to me because the serial numbers on here and I don't know if I'm not supposed to show the serial numbers on here so that's why I don't know if it makes a difference at all. This is the real This is the pellet gun. You'll know because I still have this safety little latch or safety little guard on here. They appear to literally be the same as far as uh size-wise on the slides. Um Everything looks pretty accurate for the most part. But what do y'all think? Y'all taking, in real life, y'all taking a Glock 19 or a Glock 45? If I get a Glock 19 still, I'm going to get the Gen 5. But you see how it's not that big of a difference as far as the, the, the handle or the grip. But to some, that makes a huge difference, I guess, especially if you're, uh, you're carrying. You know what I mean? Um... I don't know. This feels comfortable to me. This is a good way for me to gauge how I'd really feel about the Glock 19 also. You can also change these pieces right here where um, it, it's flared out a little bit more. Let me see if I can show you. So the back straps on here actually curve all the way. They curve all the way back here. It's not just this piece right here. It's this whole section. So it can actually grip your hand a little more here it may feel comfortable like this but i don't know after shooting a while is it going to start making that part of your hand sore not really sure um again i'm no uh firearm expert i give you a little bit of my history when i do the unboxing on my firearms that i have here but this definitely feels a lot more compact i mean i'm not an officer not a security guard you know this is just for sport for fun um and it's also for protection right so for me you know, if I'm finding myself in a situation where I need like a hundred rounds or something crazy, I mean, I gotta, I need security at that point. It, it ain't a toy. Um, don't play around. You literally can end your life or somebody else's life playing around. There's so many stories of people doing stuff like that, playing around with firearms. They're not toys. I don't care how cool something look. It would trip me out when you see people. Um, and I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just saying in general, when you see people uh, filming themselves for YouTube or 
TikTok or whatever the, the cra- crazy stuff is, and they pointing the gun right at the cameraman um, and stuff like that. I just think that's kind of crazy. Um, for me personally, it's just you never know. It, it's like people literally die from that on record now so many times that you can't just sit here and say it won't happen to you or it's just stupid why even play with something like you know them people that mess with alligators or crocodiles and they put their hand in there and every once in a while the the the, the gator snaps on the hand the, the trainer's hand or the person playing that circus act why play with something that you know can literally end your life and rip your arm off at that moment why play with lions and tigers when you know at any moment, if it don't want to feel a certain way or it feels a certain way, that you can't do nothing about it and it's going, it's going to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like taking those type of chances where I feel like I should know better. You know what I mean? I don't play with stuff like that. So with stuff like this, I don't even care if it's a BB gun. And Don't ever point this at me. I ain't never going to point it at you unless I intend to use it and vice versa because people play around with stuff like that and think, I don't know, man. It's like... Depending on how you grew up or whatever, man, there's people I know they shoot BBs at each other, like crazy little weird stuff like that, man. I think about the worst case scenario and everything and also the best in different circumstances when the when the situation is already done. But in general, it's just like, man, I think of the worst possible outcome while it's happening because that's how I got to prepare myself mentally. Yeah, it could be a BB. Maybe it won't go through your skin from a certain distance, but all it takes is to hit your eyeball and it's going to go right through it. I'll be thinking like crazy stuff like that. So I don't play with stuff like that. Um, if you're somebody who's uh, interested in this, I mean, this is pretty cool if you have a safe way to shoot it. You know what I mean? For me, I don't. I probably will never actually shoot it. It's more for like collecting and I just think it's pretty cool. The simple fact that it looks very realistic. Um, it's not like how back in the day when, you know, oh, you can even add a, this looks like this is, let me see. This looks like it's set up where you can put like a laser or flashlight on here. I don't know if it's just a generic, like it looks like it can fit and it really don't, but it looks like it's real. Like you can put a flashlight or whatever on here. Again, it's not that I plan on doing it, but I just wanted to see and um, collect it. And I really love the fact that it looks and feels like a real Glock 19. That's pretty dope. Again, just be responsible when you play with anything like this. Well, you shouldn't play with firearms, but you know what I'm saying. Um, just be responsible. Safety first. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level. Remember, you're no competition with anybody except yourself. So make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move. Till next time. Later.